Hello, this is ITSS Verona, uh, the China and Asia team. It's Sandra and Carlotta, and we'd love to welcome our guest. It is um, Admiral Li Shi Ming. Uh, he is a senior research fellow at the Project uh, 2049 Institute and previously served as the 26th Chief of the General Staff of Taiwan's Armed Forces. Um, he is an author of a recent article titled The View of Ukraine from Taiwan, Get Real About Territorial Defense. So thank you so much for being with us. Thank you uh, for inviting me to join you. So the first question I had for you um, is, uh, Israel in the Six Day War constructed a preemptive strike against or conducted a preemptive strike against Egypt with great success. Egypt's actions prior showed all intentions of preparation of a full invasion of Israel. In the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russia had military equipment and 190,000 troops along Ukraine's border and showed all signs of preparing a full invasion. Ukraine, due to denial that the invasion would happen, a possible political uh, fallout, waited for Russia to attack. In hindsight, Ukraine, as a much smaller military, could have possibly had greater success if it had conducted a preemptive strike. President Xi has made it clear um, he wants Taiwan. So the question is not if China will invade Taiwan, but when. If China lined up military equipment, large numbers of troops across the coast from Taiwan in obvious preparation of invasion, should Taiwan consider a preemptive strike? No, absolutely not, because uh, any military deployment with aggression can only indicate that this is only an attempt but the attempt that does not necessarily represent or prove that it is an act of invasion. And in the 60 days war, the reason why Israel succeeded, besides its success in the strategic surprise and the tactical success, the military strength of the two sides was not in too much disparity. Considering the disparity across the straits, even Taiwan, could conduct a successful preemptive attack, it is unlikely to have a decisive influence on the war. And a preemptive attack will make Taiwan fall into the image of a troublemaker and the rules international support. So it is impossible for Taiwan to carry out preemptive attack under any circumstance. Okay, thank you for that. Um, in your article, um, The View of Ukraine from Taiwan, Get Real About Territorial Defense, you discuss the need for Taiwan to immediately start an organized, well-trained, and logistically prepared uh, territorial defense force. In watching Ukraine's territorial defense force, what lessons can be learned, positive and negative, in development of a territorial defense force for Taiwan? Okay, uh, from a military point of view, as a defender, if you want to successfully defend national security, you must rely on both the regular army and the militia. The overall combat capability of a country is composed of capability, will, and strategy. What the territorial security forces show is not only the actual military capability, but also the will to defend the nation as a whole. Ukraine has proven that the effectiveness of the territorial defense force in assisting regular troops to defense national security. Taiwan currently does not have a territorial defense forces system. In the face of a serious threat from China, it is imperative to establish a, defense, a territorial defense forces system. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Admiral. Carlotta? Thank you very much. Uh, we have two more questions. So one uh, is related to a comparison between Taiwan and uh, Ukraine. So what challenges and also what benefits does uh, Taiwan have as an, as an island compared to Ukraine, which is a land state bordering with Russia? Yes, they are, uh, in principle, they are basically uh, four reasons why China has not yet unified Taiwan by force. The first is the ability of the People's Liberation Army to invade Taiwan. The second is the 
defense capability of the Taiwan military. The third is the natural obstacle of the Taiwan Strait. And the fourth is the deterrence role played by the United States. Among these four factors Taiwan has, but Ukraine does not have, is the Taiwan Strait that's formed the obstacle to enemy's invasion. If Taiwan is not willing to capitulate by China's political and economic pressure and accept reunification, China's only way is to cross the Taiwan Straits to occupy Taiwan in a substantial way. Amphibious operations are the most complex operations in military operation. And fortunately for Taiwan, China has so far not had this kind of capability. However, in recent years, China has begun to actively develop this combat capability, which will be Taiwan's most serious challenge in the future. Thank you very much. And one more question. Uh, we have all seen last year, uh, very recently, uh, the US withdrawal from Afghanistan. And this has raised many concerns uh, in the international community. And many people in Taiwan fear that Washington might not intervene in Taipei's defense should Beijing attack. So we wanted to know what is your, uh, what is your take in this, uh, in this sense? Mm, okay, there, there is no doubt that the United States will continue to follow a policy of strategic ambiguity that serve its national interest as to whether or how to intervene in the Taiwan Straits conflict. However, as far as operational practice is concerned, even if the US military intervene in conflicts in the Taiwan Straits due to the lack of the common operational concept and the mechanism of cooperation. It's, it's not easy for the United States and the Taiwan to conduct the joint operation, even if the United States is willing to do so. Therefore, for Taiwan, the most reliable way is to use innovative and asymmetrical warfare to build up the self-defense capability. During my tenure as Chief of General Staff, I developed the ODC and overall defense concept based on asymmetrical concept. Although currently Taiwan's military of the defense is reluctant to adopt it now, but I firmly believe that the overall defense concept is the best strategy to effectively deter and defend Taiwan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with us uh, today. It was an absolute pleasure to have you with us. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope that I can get um, the final product the other when you when you finished. We will uh, we will send it to you. <laughs>